mathematics is not a problem to be solved it is just a number to be enjoyed good morning to all my name is harunjit kaur i am from kishorgarh so today i am talking about uses of vedic mathematics methods in arithmetic so there are lots of uses vedic methods in arithmetic first of all enable faster calculation means it is if we have too much long calculations it is the helper who fast calculations of our cal of our methods and calculations next one next one is avoid careless mistake in large calculations we are doing very silly mistakes and vedic method avoid that one next one is reduce the time for saving mathematically problems it is a consumer of time also next one is help students to excel in competitive exam like cat engineering sat and etc it is also helping to much large exams which is not possible it which is difficult to crack right it is cat engineering and sat it help means vedic math helping these exams so now i am taking some examples of addition subtraction multiplication and so on first i am taking addition and it have a rule that when we add anything in general cases from right to left and in vedic math we will add from left to right let's take an example 75 plus 84 when we plus both numbers 7 plus 8 makes 15 5 plus 4 makes 9 it is starting units and ending unit right as it is and when we plus both number 5 and 0 which is between numbers then it makes 5 159 is your final answer in this way you can easily solve two digit three digit four digit and etc if i am taking next example of division it has two types which i am discuss first one is this method is applied when any digit divide by let's take an example 2161 by 5 if you divide by this number by 5 it is take too much time we should multiply just 2 2 multiply by 1 which make 2 2 multiply by 6 which make 12 2 by 1 makes 2 and it's 3 And two multiplied by two, which makes four. And after one digit, mark a point. It is your final answer. In this way, you can easily solve so so much calculation. Now, second type is if any number is divided by twenty-five. If we have suppose an suppose an example. Clear? From twenty, sorry, by twenty-five. Not multiply by two. It is multiply by four, right? Four. Concentrate here. Four, not two. When we multiply by four by one, it makes four. Four by nine, it makes thirty-six. Four and uh, six, which makes twenty-four. Plus three, which makes twenty-seven. Four by four by four means four and plus two, which makes six. Four by two, which makes eight. After two digit. mark a point it is your final answer in this way you can easily solve so many examples next one is multiplication if i am taking an example let's suppose 42 multiply by 40 and this method is applied when your ending digits sum makes 10 and your starting digits are common means equal it is 4 and 4 let's take 
and draw a line between them and multiply 2 into 8. 2 into 8. And then dot multiply 4 into 4. Its next digit is 5 here. Then multiply 5 into 4. 5 into 4 makes 20. 2 into uh, 8 means 16. And this is your final answer. In this way you can calculate multiplication. Our last type is squares of number, which is big problem of maximum students. Right. Now, I'm taking squares, squares of numbers. Clear? And this method is applied when any numbers, suppose it is, it is, its place value is 5, right? Just take 25 is my example. Let's go. 5 into 5 makes 25. Okay. And 2's next number is 3. 3 into 2, which makes 6. And it is your final answer. It is too much easy, right? It is 225. Sorry, 625 is your answer. If you take another example, just take it. First take of 20, uh, 25 you take and you take 35. Clear? Yeah. It's square. Right. 2, 5, sorry, 5 into 5, 35 square. If we calculate here, 5 into 5 makes 25. Right? And it's just number. Next number is 4. When you uh, multiply 4, it makes 12. 12,025 is your final answer. So thank you and have a nice day.